Hello, my YouTube family. Welcome back to Melda242. I am Ramelda, and today I will be preparing for you crab soup, the Bahamian way. This is very, very, very much requested. If you want to see how this is prepared, then continue watching. Here are the ingredients that you would need for this soup. They are all there. Everything is prepared already, even the dough. Let's begin. Okay, now I'm going to start this off with my onion and the celery. And of course, everything is going to be listed in the description box below. So check it out at the end. Now in this pot, I have about four tablespoons of oil. So I'm just frying these down a bit, just to saute them. Just to soften them. Next is the garlic. And then the, the thyme. Okay, that's about a tablespoon of thyme. Pulling off the leaves. Then I'm gonna add a few of the stems, just for extra flavor. All right, just like that. So many persons were requesting this crab soup. Now you have it. Now that's the fat from six medium-sized crabs. I cleaned these yesterday after purchasing them. And I had it in the freezer now it's thawed. Thawed out, so I, um, Clean the crabs, the body, and I gave them a little pre-boil just to keep the meat fresh. They were all back in the freezer, now they're out. That's why they're looking so pretty and smiling there, waiting. Now that's gonna fry down, that's the fat, that's what you want, that's the star right there. That fat is gonna really set it off. Okay, I'm gonna let that go for about a minute or two. Just to fry down. That's what you have to do with crab fat. You have to let it cook out. That's the only way you're going to get the real flavor, the true flavor. Fry it out. And of course, the stove is on medium. You have to stir it occasionally. Because if you leave it, it's just going to stick. So just keep working it in the pot. Number two. Now it should be ready for the seasonings. That's garlic powder. Now I'm out of garlic salt, so I'm working it with this as well as the table salt. About a tablespoon of that. A little bit of red pepper flakes. So this can always be substituted with black pepper or for any other type of pepper. Just to give it a little bit of a little kick, a little spice. The regular table salt now with the salt don't add in all one time because you have to season as you go depending on the amount of liquid browning about a tablespoon of this all right that's the seasonings mix well get all of that goodness from the bottom Oh my word. Now you can also add fresh, cut up some nice fresh ripe tomatoes or even tomato paste. But I'm not putting anything else in this. I don't want to alter the flavor, the taste. I just want this to be super crabby. Crab soup. But you can add those in. I've done it before. That's what I want to see the bubbles. Okay, Mickey, but just get out of the way, Minnie. Okay, that's the bubbles. That's what you're looking for. It is cooking. Oh, and hair smells right. Now the water. Okay, remember, this is my soup pot. So your pot might not be as big as my pot. So I don't want to tell you to put a certain amount of water. It's up to you. But I know that the pot should be half, half filled with water. Don't fill it right up because you're going to have a mess. Also, need some more water. We got six crabs. We 
6 squares of this. Seasoning as I go. You have to keep tasting. So that's why I said not to put all the salt in at once. Okay, here, here we go again. Salt and salt in. That should do the trick. Can't play with salt because less, less is always best. Don't play around with salt. Always think about that. This is the last thing I'm going to add. One Maggie chicken bouillon. This is really going to set it off. Trust me. Like I said, you can also add tomato paste or some nice ripe tomatoes if you wish. Just let it do its thing. Now I'm just going to allow this to boil, but before, transfer it into another pot, some of the liquid into another pot. Because I don't want any problems in the beginning, in the middle of it. Because I know everything is not going to hold in, the, in that one pot. I have cassava, I have potato, I have plantain, corn, ham, ribs. They, that's the meat right there. The butcher had already cut them up, but yes, they were still too big for my liking. So after pre-boiling them, I even made them smaller, bite sizes. That's how I like my meat. I just like a lot of meat, 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 meat in my soup. Small pieces. And of course I have the crab and the dumplings, so one pot would not do it. Therefore, I need two pots, two pots of this goodness. It's the crab, nice and clean, and that's the veggies that I'm going to be adding. Green plantains, cassava, potato, corn, and carrots. Everything would be listed in the, in the description box below. So check it out. It's gonna allow that to come to a boil. Okay, the dumpling that was already mixed, pre mixed ahead of time. Everything was prepared, so I'm ready. I'm just gonna form the dumplings. So I'm making the spinners. Just put it between your hands and roll it. four on camera and the flat ones I'm gonna do four of those on camera and I'll finish the rest off camera four spinners on and four flat ones on the dumplings all of the ingredients for this I will add to the description box below all right now this flour that I'm that I have on the countertop, this would always this would, this would this would also thicken the broth of the soup, as well as some of the, the veggies that I have cut cut up. Some are gonna boil away, so there's no no doubt about that. Some are gonna get soup soft, so that's gonna thicken the broth. You don't want it too too thick now. Definitely not too loose. Thin. This is a soup. It's supposed to be white. Okay, it's finished. Dumplings. Now I'm adding the veggies. Okay, I'm just trying to share them between the two parts. We have the sour, the sweet potato, corn, carrots. And one, no, I have two plantains, green plantains. The plantains are so small, so, man, they look like they needed water. <coughs> Super small, so. I decided to just add them to my soup. They weren't ripe anyway, so. Now it's time for the dumplings. The soup is boiling, they are rolling. Time for the dumplings. 
Oh, and here smells right. Ooh, this is going to be a hit in here today. And everybody's coming over. My two daughters and their husbands and the kids. And I have my husband and my 12 year old, and of course, me. As well as Inspector Bain, he will be here. So, we're gonna really have a feast today. Crab soup, Bahamian crab soup. Oh my word. Now with the crab, I only have the biters, the pinches, the bodies. I have the bodies. Um, I break them in half and a few of the the legs because the legs were sort of big so I just use some of them the bigger ones the kids like to just chew on those and all of that add flavor as well so I have a couple of those in the soup there you have it look at the meat oh my word and this is flavorful Whew. This is after adding everything, 10 minutes. Oh my word, that's a serving. This is dumpling soup. I'm still bringing the rest around home. That's it. Thank you very, very much for watching this video all the way to the end. Please share me out. Don't forget to check out the description box for all of the ingredients used. God bless you. And I will. I will see you in the next one.